All right, so there's the 50. Here's the 150. Uh, I've gotten a couple questions as to how I did this. Um, these engines are pretty simple. I'll have to excuse some of my busted garbage. Um, they're held in with the one bolt here, the motor mount bolt here on the 150. Uh, on the 50, you got your motor mount bolt up under this area here. So, to make this go from a bottom to a top mount frame, uh, as you can see it is just a little 50cc frame, um, the 150 has this uh, bar for the motor mount that comes across. It's got a little opening here for the carburetor intake to come out. I just run pantyhose zip tied on. Um, I still need to paint this. Uh, as you can see, it's getting a little surface rust on it. But what you can see what I did here was uh, took some angle iron and welded it to the round pipe. Cut the round pipe down a little bit. And then I took two pieces of angle iron and placed them against the flat top here and then just welded them up alongside the uh, frame rail and I did that on both sides uh, you'll have to excuse these bubblegum welds I, I ran out of gas in my welder and said screw it I was already like halfway through um, so other than the two bolts you've got six total wires I believe it was uh, one for the starter one ground strap uh, and then there's three different wires that plug in that come out of the uh, stator. It's actually more wires than that, but it's only three plug-ins. Um, other than that, you've just got your brake cable and your throttle cable and a fuel line. Um, <clears throat> now, I got this engine actually off of... Excuse this mess here. Uh, I got this engine off of this bike. Now, I bought this bike for $125. It had no title, uh, so I need to, you know, do something with that. But when I got it, the engine was non-running, and the kid gave me a spare engine. As you can see, it's completely stripped down front and back, uh, or left and right side. Both uh, have been stripped. This is all that was left. Uh, it did, however, have the entire piston jug assembly on it um so what i did was uh the engine that was in here was not running i pulled the head off and found uh unfortunately this mess uh i don't know if you guys can see here these valve springs are shattered it's got a bent valve so luckily he had given me the other block, uh, I just pulled the head right off, slid it right on the other engine, bolted it right on. I didn't uh, didn't even buy a new head gasket or anything, didn't check torque specs, I literally just bolted it on. Now I've gone probably uh, 500 miles maybe um, with it like that, haven't had an issue yet. Um, yeah, but uh, it looks like this engine was in decent shape I don't see how he even ended up with this so I've got a spare jug now if I end up you know getting too uh, crazy with the other one and fry my rings or something obviously this has got some dust and dirt in it and stuff but it's still got some good cross hatching in there uh, or decent it's not the best but I can hone that out and clean it up um, so yeah that's how I did my 150 swap um, it was pretty simple. Uh, luckily, actually, I will add, luckily I have a pallet, a little tiny pallet. Uh, the 50 has a kickstand on the engine, the 150 does not. So to do this, I, uh, set the front tire over here. The center of the bike was balanced here, and then I propped the engine on here with the rear tire back here. I bolted the shock in. And then got the engine lined up where the tire in the rear and the tire in the front were straight in line with each other. And then I just placed all the angle iron pieces up against my frame rails and welded them in. It was literally that simple.